Detroit boys basketball team has lost two games in a row, but tonight marks a crucial night for one Trojan ace. Evan Polly is on the heels of history. Polly is just shy of hitting his 1,000th career point. Could he and the rest of his Troy team not only get to the hoop, but get the win too. Athens hosting Troy. The Wildcats also coming off a loss. In fourth quarter, Athens up and Jarrett Priester with the highlighter shoes making the highlight real. He goes untouched to the basket. Leader Troy try, trying to rally back and what better way from, than from behind the arch. Spinning around the rim, just some dramatic effect. And with that, Trojans now down by just five. But Troy unable to shut down Priester yet again. He drives and finds his way to the hoop. And Troy beginning to lag behind, but a big night for this guy, Evan Polly. He scores his 1,000th point, and even with that, Troy can't bounce back. The Wildcats beat out the Trojans 70-62, but congrats to Evan Polly on his scoring achievement. Pretty impressive stuff there. Well, the Elmira girls are fresh off their first win in program history earlier in the week, and Binghamton tried not to let them get number two. Lauren McPeak off the steal, and the Patriots up by five. The Express trying to hang around, and Kate Weaver navigating through traffic, but the Patriots are just too much. Hannah Spencer spots Maggie Rose Pellella for the triple. Elmira keeps up, but the Pats take it 54-43. Well, to Corning, the Hawks hosting the number 12th ranked Maine and Wells Spartans. Beginning of the game, Corning calling for the upset. And Olivia LeBaron, well, she answers from beyond the arc. The Hawks on the board, but the Lady Spartans ranked for a reason. Victoria Dean, she also nails the three-pointer. And M.E. up now just by two. But Corning, they're keeping pace as the pass inside finds the wide-open Sierra Capo here. But the Spartans done with the warm-up. Maine and well firing up the court as the Spartans take care of Corning 51-35. The Hawks now 3-6 and six in the conference. And with the Corning loss, that means the number 21 ranked Horseheads girls team now clinches the Stack West Conference title. In more Corning sports, the boys bowling team making history tonight. The Hawks ended their season at a perfect 12-0 for the first time ever. Six-year seniors Connor LeBaron finished with a 100 or 706 total, and Ben Toby with a total score of 718. Well, to professional basketball, the New York Knicks have been struggling on the court recently, but off it, well, that's another story. In a new report by Forbes, the Knicks are the most valuable franchise in the NBA. The team is worth $1.4 billion, but even with the money, New York's in a slump. That continued on tonight, too. The Knicks lost to the Philadelphia Sixers, 110-106. And maybe it's true, money can't buy you happiness. None of the teams in Forbes' top five most valuable franchises, including the Knicks, are over 500 this season.